Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interesting in today's video. Needless to say, the importance of chips. Just from the fact that the United States has been implementing chip restrictions, we can understand that the more we don't want China's chips to progress, the more China should accelerate its development. However, Huawei has to face the US chip blockade. In addition to being a global leader in 5G, Huawei's chip design capabilities have also reached the world's first-class level. The key point is that chip manufacturing problems are also being solved. First, it was Kirin 9000S, and now it is Kirin 9010. In this regard, Senior U.S. officials have spoken out again. The function of the mobile phone SOC chip is equivalent to that of the CPU of a PC. It can be said to be the core chip of the mobile phone. To some extent, it is even more complex than the CPU. Because mobile phones are not as big as computers, the space left for the chip is getting smaller and smaller. Therefore, mobile phone chip design must continue to develop towards miniaturization. Tens of billions of transistors must be integrated on a chip the size of a fingernail, and the desired functions must be achieved. The design difficulty can be imagined, but Huawei has achieved it. High Silicon, a subsidiary of Huawei, specializes in chip design and the Kirin chips it designs represent the highest level of domestic socks. Before the US imposed sanctions, Huawei's Kirin chips were already comparable to Apple's A-Series and Qualcomm Snapdragon, and some even surpassed them. For example, it was the first to integrate 5G baseband. Qualcomm was a year and a half late, and Apple can't now. Huawei mobile phones have entered the high-end mobile phone market with Kirin chips. Now, with the help of self-developed Kirin chips, mobile phones are selling well again. In the past, although Kirin chips were only used by Huawei, their domestic market share once surpassed Qualcomm Snapdragon. High Silicon once ranked among the top 10 semiconductor companies in the world with Kirin sales, but eventually fell silent due to US restrictions. Because the United States asked TSMC to stop Kirin chip foundry, Huawei fell into a difficult situation without cause, and High Silicon's chip shipments once fell to zero. Although High Silicon has lost revenue, Huawei has not given up and has been actively supporting research and development. Although there has been no news from High Silicon, research and development has not stopped, and it finally took just over three years to realize the return of Kirin. Since the return of the Kirin 9000S chip at the end of August last year, according to statistics from a well known survey agency, Huawei's high silicon chip shipments reached 6.8 million pieces in the fourth quarter of 2023, a year-on-year -year surge of 5,121%, with revenue reaching 7 billion US dollars. Under the strict blockade of the United States, it is not easy to solve chip manufacturing problems, but the return of self-developed Kirin shows that it has been successful. In addition, the shipment volume of chips is so amazing. This is a direct mockery of the restrictions on American chips. The key point is that Huawei's mobile phone equipped with the self-developed Kirin 9000S did not even hold a press conference and was put on sale in time for U.S. Commerce Secretary Raimondo's visit to China. As a result, Many netizens joked that Raimundo 
has become the spokesperson of Huawei Mate 60 series. Raimondo was naturally very unhappy about this, saying that the chip made her very unhappy and threatened to investigate it. However, more than half a year has passed, and the United States has not produced any substantive results from its investigation. Instead, Huawei's Kirin chips have been iteratively upgraded again. Recently, Huawei's Pura 70 series has been quietly launched again, bringing with it the new Kirin 9010. Not to mention that Huawei's new mobile phone is close to 100% domestically produced, the performance of Kirin 9010 is 10% higher than that of Kirin 9000S. This clearly shows the progress of Kirin chips, but the key point is that it still does not use American technology. Regarding this chip, everyone will definitely want to know Raimondo's reaction to it. Recently, the US media 60 Minutes interviewed Raimondo specifically about this. In this interview, US. Commerce Secretary Raimondo admitted that she was slapped in the face by Huawei's chips last year, but she said that there is a clear gap in Huawei's Kirin chips and that they still lag behind the United States in terms of advancement, which shows that the US export controls are successful. Moreover, Raimondo also said that the United States has the most advanced semiconductors in the world. The reporter asked sharply, was he referring to TSMC? In this regard, Raimondo was almost speechless, but he still made strong arguments, because through pressure and subsidies, he has invited TSMC, Samsung, etc. to build factories in the United States, but it will take time to achieve mass production, and advanced manufacturing must rely on external. Regarding Raimondo's interview, foreign media directly stated that it can be seen that the United States seems to be powerless. In recent years, it has continued to increase chip restrictions, which not only did not hinder the development of China's chips, but also promoted the accelerated breakthrough of the mainland's chip industry. Today, China has not only made breakthroughs in advanced chips, but mature process chips have also gradually taken a dominant advantage. Recent news shows that China's total chip production surged 40% year-on-year in the first quarter of this year, and it is expected to rank first in the world in 2027.